Hey friends, welcome back to Pastor Kevin and friends. And holy cow, and I are in the car. We we've been on a road trip. Oh, how you let me drive? Yeah, because you don't have your driver's license, and and we're having a good time, but uh, we got a little turned around or something. Oh, or something, all right. Well, holy cow, you're supposed to be reading the map. What my if it's missing some of it? How can we follow how to get there? Well, you know, the holy cow, that brings up a good idea, a good question. Have you ever wondered how to get to heaven? Well, I sure do. I got lots of questions. Well, holy cow, I think we all have lots of questions. Like, why did Jesus have to die? And how can we follow him if we can't see him? Well, it's a really good one. And, and um, what else? Oh, what is heaven all about? Oh, I want to know. Well, let me tell you something, Holy Cow. First of all, why did Jesus die? Well, that's what I want to know, and the kiddos too. Well, Jesus died because he loved us. Oh, he does? Yes, he loves us with a perfect and everlasting love. Oh, that's good news. But we have a problem. What's that? We've all sinned. The Bible says all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. That means you too, Mr. Kevin? Yes, I've sinned, and all of our friends that are watching have sinned too. Well, I bet we know one other person, and he'll be right back. Well, uh, shh, holy cow. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, but but we've all sinned. Well, why can't we go to heaven then? Because sin is not allowed in heaven. Well, it isn't? No. God is perfect, and heaven is a perfect place. So God cannot allow sin, which is not perfect, into heaven. What you mean? Well, sin is anything we say, do, or think that goes against God's word, the Bible. Oh, yeah. Kind of like driving too fast. Holy cow. Shh. Uh, any, anyway, that's what sin is. Sin is going against God's rules, which are established in the Bible. And if we go against those rules, then we have a problem. We've all sinned. And, oh, holy cow, I know, I know. There's a Bible verse, and, and that Bible verse is found in uh, John chapter 3, verse 36. And it says, whoever believes in the Son has eternal life, but whoever rejects the Son will not see life, for God's wrath remains in him. That means we're separated from God because of our sin. But if we've asked Jesus to be our forever friend, then we're friends for life. That's right. We're friends for life. Uh, you know, in the Bible, when Jesus was alive, Jesus was crucified. He died for whose sins? Years and men. Yes, he died for all men's sins. He gave his life on the cross for our sins. But while Jesus was on the cross, was he alone? Oh, no, I don't think so. That's right. There were two other men. They were robbers. And they were also put on the cross, on the crosses for the wrong they did. They deserved the punishment they got. Well, Jesus didn't. That's right. Jesus did not deserve his punishment because Jesus is good. He is always good. Just like God is always good and sin cannot be around him. What happened on the cross? Oh, one man, he had told Jesus, hey, if you're the son of God, why don't you just let yourself down? And the other man says, you shouldn't talk that way to Jesus. He is the son of God. And we don't, we're, we're getting what we deserve. He's not getting what he deserves. Well, then what? Well, the one man looked to Jesus and said, Jesus, I believe you are the Son of God. And when you go to heaven, would you please remember me? I mean, Jesus remembered him and said, you too shall be with me in paradise. That's right. Now, um, holy cow. Um, so how can we know these things? If we can't see Jesus, how can we follow him? Oh, reading the Bible. That's right, by reading the Bible. And we need to read it every single day. Whether it's a little bit or a whole bunch, we need to read God's Word so we know what to do. Well, is that the only way? No, no, Jesus gave us something else. Jesus also gave us the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit reminds us when we're doing things that we shouldn't do and tries to get us back to remembering the friendship we have with Jesus, that Jesus is our forever friend. 
Hi, Mr. Kevin. Is it kind of like the rules of the road book that teaches you how to drive? Well, yeah, the Bible is our rule for life, and it teaches us how we should live. And the rules of the road book tells us how we should drive and what we can do when we're driving and not do. And then the policeman must be like the Holy Spirit, reminding us of all the rules. I guess that may be one way of putting it. Well, you need to ask that policeman why he can't let a cow ride in the car. You mean the one that is coming up to the car pretty soon? Uh-huh. And probably a lot of other things. Yeah, we're going to have to talk to him. But, hey, <laughs> we're just joking about the police <laughs> getting pulled over. <laughs> yeah, sort of. <laughs> oh, don't let him fool you. <laughs> His name ain't Ray of Kev for nothing. Hey, holy cow, stop that. But anyway, Jesus loves you with an everlasting love. And all you have to do is ask him to be your forever friend. Say goodbye, holy cow. Goodbye, holy cow. Y'all take care and rush your hair and rush your teeth. You only got to rush the ones you want to keep. Uh, that's right. And hey, we'll see you all next time, I hope. <laughs> or at least we'll go see Annette <laughs> and her friends at work, right? Oh, this all look good.